Hey all my friends and welcome to the show that makes you the cool kids. What do I mean by that? I'll tell you right after the intro. So, you all want to be the cool kids. And how are you going to be the cool kids? Because you know how to do effects. When you remember that day when you was walking on your streets and there was the wannabe cool kids that came bragging about their new cool car. And you were like, hey, dude, I can do teleportation. I can make things explode. I can use After Effects. And they'll be seriously looking up to you like you're a god for the rest of your life. Trust me, I know, personal experience. Yeah. Anyhow, so what we're gonna do, do, to, do, 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 do today is a pretty cool effect. Don't get misjudged by looking at me when I was walking at my wall, just waving and being, having a fun time until my camera got pissed on me and shot me in my heart. That's not the effect. We're not gonna look how to create blood splatter effects. We're gonna uh, be looking how do you get that blood splatter behind me so smoothly. But it literally took like a minute and a half to create that separation of me and the background. And I was not using green screen. It was just my plain white wall at my house. And I'm gonna show you how to do that today. Because if you want to do separation, you can use masks, but if things freaking move, then you be should at least be using the rotoscope tool, which is today's tutorial. The rotoscope tool. And all the cool kids use it, because it makes your life easier, and it's just pretty cool. Like, you know. So basically, rotoscope tool helps you to separate something in the background to the foreground so you can put things behind just like the blood splatter. It's really straightforward, not that hard. So let's go check out how this is pulled off. But first things first, how do you guys look so good today? It's so nice to make a tutorial to all you handsome guys out there. I'm not gay, I'm just saying. You're the best. And let's go back to the tutorial, shall we? All right, so now we have pulled our footage from the project panel right in to a new comp, to the new comp button. And let's rename it to main. And there's my dog, at least one of them, just watching out in nowhere. Yeah, let's go ahead and trim it down a bit. I was calling it away. Here I'm coming in, so we could like start the clip here, hit B on your keyboard like banana to start the comp there, get my head and fall down and hit N like Nectarine or Neptune. Let's trim it down and let's right click and go trim comp to work area. And now you don't have to be like zooming in all the time. So here, here's your whole comp. And if you're watching, um, the image, it looks terrible, except my smile, it's pretty cool, and it's pretty cute. So, it's terrible, depending to the other one, which look corrected. So, how do we do that? I will just be copy-pasting the color correction I used, and if you want to know how to color correct, links down below to my tutorial on how to color correct your footage, like white balance, sharpness, contrast, everything. Everything will be in that tutorial, so go check it out, super useful stuff. So now I have here a corrected image, and we can just go select the way it is sound, because we don't need it. Just like this, pretty straightforward. So let's go ahead and separate myself from the wall. How do we do that? It's not actually that, that hard. Let's go just find the, uh, that sequence where our like body needs to be separated. So here's the hit which comes to me, so we can like begin it somewhere here. So let's split the layer with Command Shift D or Control Shift D to split the layer or go to edit and split layer. You can do however you want. 
and then you go forward forward till the blood splatter is going to be somewhere right here so when our uh when our body is not uh in the way we can like end the clip somewhere right here it's pretty cool and split the layer let's go ahead and call this well, let's not let's not call it yet anything. Then duplicate this layer because we need a background layer to something to sandwich the top layer, which is gonna be the roto, the separation. And this is the background because we if we don't have the background, it will be untransparent. So, but we still want the background. And so let's call this upper one. Um, just hitting enter or a keyboard, we can rename layers and call it roto. Alright, and then what we do is we go ahead to the, to the toolbar and select the Roto Brush tool. Click on it, like a boss, like the cool kids. And then just double click on the Roto layer and it will be zoomed in, like a mother. Just zoom out with your scroll wheel or using the cool zoom in buttons. But that's for the lame kids, use the scroll wheel, be the cool kid. All right, so how do we roto our guy? As you can see, your mouse becomes this green ball of freedom or something. And if you have ever used Photoshop, this is basically like the quick selection tool, but for video, which is super useful. So what you do is you just click and hold and paint over. As you can see, it changes back to the correction mode because uh, After Effects recognized that I have it doing a correction. Just over the parts we want to be uh, rotoed. So I just take my head, my upper body, and my hands. And it will create this um, this um, selection with this pink outline. And then we just g we can go ahead and click on this to add and hold down the Alt key to separate those things that are too much. We don't have to be fo uh, focusing on our uh, fingers because it's just the upper body and the head which is needed to be separated from the comp or the background so we don't need to focus on the fingers let's check out and then when this is done just hit spacebar on your keyboard to start playing or just go frame by frame and then you just stop here every time uh, something goes out of line so it just, then you just stop there and paint it over and just be correcting the image all the time so that's the basic thing to do. So go this whole clip here and basically doing this mask around your talent. So when you have done that, I'll be back just in a second. And so when it's ready and you hit play, it should look something like this. Pretty good road out and like you have skipped so much more masking so don't mask with hand like key points and the pen tool this kind of stuff do it like this it looks so much more better it's so satisfying for the eye so look looking at the pink outlines just following your talent and please keep in mind the more complicated the background is like you know trees and leaves and chairs and everything matching colors it will be making this so much more harder so try to use like simple backgrounds at least in the beginning because then when you got time we don't have time but if you got time then you can do like more advanced stuff but i recommend to start with a like simple wall so you get to know the effect that's my warmest recommendation how to apply the separation just go back to the composition and there we have it sorry for the short interruption as you saw with the transition, my mom just came to say hello. She came back from work. She's real sweet. Okay, so how do we know we have like done the separation? Because if we watch here, we can see no difference. So, did we screw up things? No, we didn't. We just have our background layer right here. So we go ahead and select it away. Then we can see our, uh, our, our roto here. And then if we click it on back, it looks normal. So now we can put things behind this and it looks like it's on the wall but not on me. So let's go ahead and take this the blood splatter. I just I just Google search blood splatter and then I found it. So put it behind the roto but in front of the main. 
now let's change the mode to multiply so we take away all the white stuff like this cool and then we can see this shattering edges and it doesn't look pretty clean and everything so let's clean that up just here fast let's go to the roto layer <laughs> go to the effects panel find the feathering or let's go first to a shift edge and just take it down just a small tiny bit so it looks like this and then let's go ahead and take the feather to like a 20 and then we can go ahead and take the shift edge back a bit so it looks a bit more normal super and then let's go ahead and accept motion blur and take decontaminate edge colors so it makes um, the edge colors look more normal let's take it up just a bit like that and that looks pretty good if you look now there's like no harsh end and it looks pretty soft and pretty motion blurry and looks pretty cool it looks super good super so now what we can do we can go ahead and place the the image where we want like there we can scale it down a bit rotate it oh no not that let's go back to the image so rotate that just a bit let's go to the curves adjustment I have it ready here by just typing curves go to the layer let's make it uh, be more darker let's play with them the curves here so we can achieve uh, the look we want let's go to red channel let's take down the red just a bit let's make it a bit more darker like this and let's go ahead and um, rename it hitting the enter key to rename this <clears throat> and call it something like blood simple and cool and hitting the T key so we could go take the opacity just down just a tiny small bit and then there we have it pretty much where you can see it looks pretty good rotoed behind our talent and everything is super cool hit play everything works so if you wonder why um, this happens because we just have to put it behind the roto and it also happens after the roto so let's just go ahead and split the layer like this and then let's put this uh, main under the the blood layer so it it's still on the on the wall so now we got it looks pretty cool and that's the basic effect if you want a dedicated tutorial about how to get the blood effect the blood hit as you saw here with all the cool smoke puffs and um, then I, I will add add a few things like the blood like spilling down slowly if you want to educate tutorial about this, like making a cool professional Hollywood blood splatter thing you can see in cool action movies, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and su suggest it down below. So yeah guys, thanks so much for watching this video tutorial once again. Hope you guys liked it so much. If you did, feel free to like this video and be a part of the cool kids. If you're the cool kids, you will hit that like button and suggest anything down below in the comment section. Tell me what you feel about this tutorial, what you want to see next. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel and you will miss nothing which happens on this, on this channel. So subscribe if you haven't already and if you want to see more content like this. My name is VK, if I didn't say that in the beginning. My name is VK and I'll see you guys next Wednesday. So, see you guys around. Peace out.